These are very interesting terms, liminal and liminoid. They can be traced back to the writings of a French anthropologist, Arnold van Gennep, who in 1909 wrote Les Rites de Passage, The Rites of Passage. The, in this book, van Gennep said that all rites, all, and especially initiation rites, rites of passage uh, from uh, puberty to adulthood, from uh, having power to giving up power, from uh, death to fun funeral lights to afterlife, had three phases, separation, the middle or liminal phase, and reintegration. This work deeply influenced Victor Turner, who ex did a lot of writing and thinking about the liminal phase. Turner was interested particularly in that phase where you're neither here nor there, where in Turner's terms you were betwixt and between, because once you get separated from your uh, identity group, from your social group, and you enter into an initiatory or rite of passage phase, you have not yet got your new identity, but you have lost your old identity. You're in between, you're open, you're a tabula rasa that can be uh, written on. And at the end, you are reintegrated into the community, but at a different uh, level uh, of uh, personality, a different level of identity. So the girl uh, gets initiated and she emerges as a woman. She enters as a girl. She's neither girl nor woman for the times of the initiation rites. And at the rites conclusion, she reemerges as a woman. Now, Van Gennep was writing about what he called traditional societies, non-Western societies. There are lots of problems about an applying anthropology to these societies we know in terms of post-colonialism and so on. But his theory is very, very fruitful. Turner, however, wanted to apply them not only to uh, traditional initiation rites, but to all kinds of occurrences in modern societies. and not only Western societies, but uh, wherever modernity occurs, and it occurs all over the world. Modernity uh, exists side by side with the most traditional kinds of practices all over the world. And Turner wanted to say, what is like liminal, but not liminal? That is such as what happened, he was very affected by what happened during the 1960s when the hippies and, and so-called were uh, operating in San Francisco or Woodstock Nation, uh, or even now, as we're talking, as I'm uh, recording this, down in Zuccotti Park, where the Occupy Wall Street people are calling for a restructuring of uh, American uh, uh, financial society, American social uh, contract. So there, they are existing in a liminal phase. They are neither continuing as ordinary uh, citizens, nor have they emerged in the utopian community. They're in this special isolated place, Zuccotti Park, which is part of downtown Manhattan, but really fenced off at the same time. And Turner wanted to call modern liminality liminoid, like liminal, not exactly the same, not uh, adhering to the rules that Van Gennep wrote down, but parallel to them. Later on in these discussions, I will talk about Turner's social drama and his communitas, uh, all of which can occur both in liminal states and in liminal-like states or liminoid states. Now, what is the difference between the liminal and the liminoid? The liminoid occurs in modern uh, societies or pockets of modernity wherever uh, a society exists because there's modernity everywhere and there's non-modernity everywhere. For example, a, a, a bar mitzvah or a bat mitzvah in a modern society is still a liminal rite. It's not liminoid. It is a very traditional rite and it follows the patterns that uh, Van Gennep outlined in terms of uh, traditional societies. At the same time, the party that follows the bar mitzvah, the bat mitzvah, where everybody is celebrating, where people put on different roles and uh, dance around, etc., this is liminoid. This may not occur in a, uh, in a traditional society, may not be part of the rite. Uh, so that liminoid uh, are liminal-like events or uh, that occur in a, uh, oh, oh, I even have a better idea. Let's say a fraternity or sorority initiation is liminoid, it's not liminal. It's an imitation in a certain way of the ordeals of the transformation 
that occurs very often among adolescents, from boys to men, girls to women, and in this case, from the outside of the fraternity or the sorority to the inside, along with initiatory ordeals and so on. So these are really good examples of liminoid rites because they are invented, they're new, they occur within the uh, society of modernity.